Bros. Welcome back to another video. Um, so today um, we're going to be fitting a sunstrip. Um, I got one of these from AET Motorsport, um, and they're an amazing company. If you've got a Fiesta ST or anything like that, they do a lot of forward based stuff. So you get all like, your performance parts, they do sell remaps, they, they like, specialise in Peron. So obviously that's what I am with them because my car is Peron. So this is the sunstrip. So as you can see it says uh, AET Motorsport and then it's got the Peron logo as well. So we're going to be putting this onto the car and I'm going to walk you through that and the best way to do it because I'm doing it single handedly. So fingers crossed that goes well. It should do. So uh, basically what we're going to do is I'm going to apply it wet because I'm doing it single handedly and I want to be able to manoeuvre it around without like... Because if you put it on dry, once it's on it's, you get, you sort of, it's going to sort of start messing it up but if you keep lifting it off and then putting it back on again. So with wet you can sort of manoeuvre it to where you want it, tape, tape it down and then just squeeze it all out and then you can cut off around the edges. What you're going to want to start with, um, clean the windscreen. Um, I've just got back from somewhere and it's all like back rows and stuff like that and it's absolutely filthy. So the rest of the car doesn't have to be clean, like around the windscreen you want to be clean and then the actual windscreen itself. So what I'm going to do is get my window cleaner. I'm also going to use tar and glue remover as well, just to make sure I've got every, every last bit off the window. So let's get started. Right then bro, so first things first, uh, what I'm using is like rain -X, so it's just 2-in-1 glass cleaner and rain pellet. It's not like great but it's alright at cleaning windows. And I've got like a just a microfiber to give it a good clean down. So we're just going to make sure we're going to clean this whole area, paying special attention to like the top of the windscreen, because that's where the sun strips going essentially. Um, I'd also make sure it's sort of clean around the edges. So if you don't put the sun strip on just right, you don't catch the edge of the like the, the paint and then pick up all that dirt as well. So all we're going to have to do is just turn the sprayer on, make sure it's nice and wet, and then just give it a good clean. I swear down, if this dog keeps barking, I'm going to bloody kill it. I don't even know whose dog it is, all I can hear is a dog barking. So, you hear that? Fucking thing. So, lift these up so I can get right underneath them. You can see straight away how dirty it is. If you're doing part of the windscreen, you may as well do the whole thing. So, as you can see, that's how much dirt's just come off. Just that one side of the windscreen. You probably are, you are better off washing the car before you do this because then a lot of it is not there anyway. A nice little tip for you guys as well. Um, whenever you're cleaning a car, make sure you clean the windscreen and the windows. The windows themselves hold like that much presence on a car that when you're looking at it, if the window's dirty, uh, the windows are dirty. There's that many windows on a car, it makes a car look dirty. And with a dirty car, if you just clean your windows. It looks like a million times cleaner, like so much more presentable. So that's a little tip for you. And obviously you can see out of them better as well, which is always a bonus. So what I'm gonna do now is flip the microfiber so it's like to a clean part of the cloth. So that's the the part we've just used. And just fold that into itself so it's like a nice clean section of cloth. And then what you're gonna need is tar and glue remover. This is just a tonic by Autobrite. By the way, all the links to like what I'm using will be in the description below if you want to buy them yourselves. So this is called Just a Tonic. It all is the tar and glue remover. So what I'm going to do is just spray it over the top of the window and like sort of around the edges. This is good on. You can use this on wheels. You can use it on paint. You can use it on windows. You can use it on whatever you want. And just sort of leave it and let it settle in a bit. It smells a bit like paint thinners, but it's not. It's not like dangerous to your paint work at all. So. I don't know if you go back to like another, uh, some of my older videos, you'll have seen that I like hashtag Team PT across my windscreen. And there's still outlines of that left over from the, the, the vinyl. So let that all soak in and I can just quickly go and like buff all that off. So there we go. So what I've just done is moved you a bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. So I don't really know if it picks up that well, but there's like lettering outlines and already it's just starting to rub straight off with just my fingertip. And what that'll do is just pick off any of the glue and residue that's left over. So go over to the other side as well. Tar and glue remover is like one of the best things you can have in like your cleaning arsenal. Especially if you've got a white car, because white car, 
like white cars and tour, they're like my pet hate. I hate cleaning white cars because of the tour aspect of it. So I'm going to flip it to a dry pot on my microfiber. And what this will do as well, it'll ensure that everything sticks to it. The good thing about tar and glue remover, it sort of evaporates as well. So what I'm going to do is wet the bonnet down now, wet, 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 wet the windscreen down now with just some like water and a bit of soap, like a very little bit of soap. And then un unpeel this and then just place it on the windscreen and I can manoeuvre it around. So what you're going to want to do is make sure it's really wet, make sure that part of the windscreen is like really, really wet. So then you've got plenty of like manoeuvrability with it. So. It's got a bit of soap and a bit of uh, water in this bottle. So I'm going to soak. Soak the windscreen. Wet the sides, wet the roof. Like so. Don't worry about using too much because you're only going to squeeze it out anyway. So once that's done, what I'm going to start doing is just peeling off like the sun strip from its backing. Obviously this is just the way I'm doing it, obviously you can do it whichever way you want. You might have a way that's better than this, if, we, if, we, if in which you have. Make sure you leave it in the description because I'd love to know. Because it's not an easy thing to be able to do by yourself. As you can see it sort of just slides like so. If it is sort of bulging up in the middle, just place it over and then what you'll do is just cut around the edges once you've done. And what I can do with that is just wet it down just a little bit more if I need to. Like over here. Wet this down a bit more. So that's not sticking anymore, which is nice. The good thing about AET as well, this is like a proper nice quality sunstrip as well. It's not like the cheaper. Like if you've ever been to a car show and they sell in, they're selling some like sunstrips. They're made with like proper cheap vinyl, proper proper cheap. So when you've sort of got it into a, a place where you want to, you want to make sure you're covering all the windscreen, otherwise it will look a mess from the inside of the car. So what you can use when you're doing this now, is you can use a squeegee. If you haven't got one, you can just use your hands and it's perfectly fine. If you get a bit of like the, the soapy solution that you sprayed the windscreen down with on your hands, your hands will just slide over it really easily. Then once you've started like fix, fixing, it, fixing it to the windscreen, it will stop like sliding and stop moving. Any like things that aren't sticking down, once it's sort of all dried out, they'll stick. Especially with these having like heated windscreens, everything will just stick itself where you want it. So all like the water will evaporate out of it nice and easily. So what I'm going to do now is it's in the right place, it's where I want it. I'm just going to get a microfiber. Let's go around and just dry it. This will also help to pull any like the, like the air, like air pockets out as well. All right guys, so an excellent technique for you is like from getting the water from behind the wrap is just get any old like sort of credit card and then place it into a microfiber so it creates like a soft edge. If you do it with just the card, you can risk like scratching the vinyl itself. So if you put it in a microfiber and then use that, you've got like a quite a pointy edge but it's soft so it won't scratch. So now I'm pushing water and air bubbles out just comes out nice and easily without scratching the paintwork as well or the, the vinyl even so right guys so once all the water has been squeegeed out you're left with a really nice flat smooth surface so now that's that's proper stuck down so as much as you move it it ain't going nowhere and obviously the more it dries because obviously it is wet you've applied it wet you sort of want to leave it to like sort of cure off a little bit before you drive it anyway like in case it flies off what we're going to do now is this is the bit where a lot of people will sort of be a bit cautious about it but you've got to get a knife and cut along like the back of the windscreen all the way across and then down the side if you use like a stainless steel knife and obviously be really careful of the paintwork if you put it along the grass um, <laughs> along the glass just like gently it won't cut in it won't mark the glass but obviously you've got to be careful but then if you're doing it down the edge as well it's, you won't be able to see it regardless I'm going to put it out just a little bit. You don't want the knife to come out all the way in case you cock up or something like that. You want it just enough to get to where you want to cut. So in here, 
along this edge here, it, it's sort of like got an indent, so it goes like in. So I'm going to put it out just a little bit and just start gently cutting. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start in the middle of the windscreen. So I'm going to use my, put the knife in a little bit because I want to catch the paintwork. I'm going to just use my hand resting on the roof to stabilise it. And if you feel up, feel it, you can feel like the first edge is where the windscreen stops. Really carefully, I'm barely touching it at all when I'm actually cutting through. Really carefully. Obviously you don't want to catch the paint here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rip off the floor. Gently just nip the edge. So we'll just pick it up away from the paintwork and just slide that off. Boom! And there we go guys, just like that. There's some strips fitted. So as you can see what I've done on this side, I've just cut, use like the windscreen and cut along it so it's nice and flush with the windscreen so I was struggling to get it tucked in behind so if whatever you find easy you want to go with that because every situation is different but I found it easier just to cut along the windscreen because it, le it leaves a nice edge as well start from the top start from the top of the windscreen and then work your way to the end and then round so I found it a bit difficult to cut up and then go to the windscreen and then round so if you cut from the top and just follow it with your knife round it's so much easier but yeah that's all finished right guys so thank you very much for watching my installation of the AET and Peron sunstrip um, if it helped you at all make sure you leave a comment below and thumbs up this video I really do appreciate it on the topic of stickers and vinyl and sunstrip um, I'm actually in the talks with someone getting some stickers made up if that's what you guys would be interested in um, I'll probably put them on like a website so you can go on and buy them it would probably be around £3.50 shipped, so you're buying the sticker and the shipping all in one, so it's £3.50. Um, if, if, if you're interested in that, guys, just let me know, and I'll continue with that. I'll come up with a few different designs. But yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you thumbs up this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, my name's Jack, so yeah, join the family. See you later, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah,